Hey guys, now we're going to look at a Newton's second law problem that combines much of what you've already learned. So the problem, a 0 0.02 kilogram bullet traveling at 90 meter, or 900 excuse me, meters per second strikes a target. If the bullet is found 0 0.062 meters under the surface of the target, what was the force on the bullet? Assume constant acceleration. So just like uh, with any good problem solving situation, uh, it's not bad to have a diagram. So I'm going to draw that. And this is my target. And I have a bullet that starts here. And it's speed at that point, let's call that our initial speed because that's right before it hits the target, is 900 meters per second. And then it gets stuck inside the target afterwards and the distance that it traveled in there is 0 0.062 meters and we also know its final speed, how fast it ended up going, was 0 meters per second. And we also know some other information, um, the mass of the bullet, for instance, that we'll keep in our pocket. So now that we've done all that, and notice that because I have all this information, I included it in my diagram. I haven't done anything as far as solving this problem yet, uh, except to write out and label everything I know using the notation that I know. So now, let's figure this thing out. What am I given? What all stuff do they tell me? Well, here I've got the mass of the bullet. I've got the initial speed of the bullet. I'm just going to use the abbreviations for the sake of time and sanity. Um, I know how far under the, tra uh, under the surface of the target it traveled. So it's displacement or it's distance through the target. I know it's final speed. And unless I'm mistaken, they don't give us anything else. So now, what is it I want? What am I looking for here? I want the force on the bullet. Now, I come across a problem almost immediately in that I only know one way to go about using forces right now. If I don't have a force diagram to just add up all the forces, um, what I need to do is use Newton's second law. So force is equal to mass times acceleration. Uh, I want the force. I've got the mass. That's great. I don't have the acceleration. That's an issue. I need to find that acceleration. So in order to do that, I have to use what other givens I have. And now I have to go back to those kinematics equations uh, that we used in previous problems. And I have to find some equation so that if I have the final velocity, the initial velocity, and the distance traveled, I can find the acceleration. And let's work that out now. Looking through those equations, there's one of particular interest that tells us that the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration times the displacement. Now lucky for me, I know most of those. I know my final velocity is zero, so I have that squared. I know my initial velocity is 900. We can't forget to square that. Plus 2 times the acceleration, which has a value of something. 
and our displacement of 0 0.062. And so now it's just a matter of solving all of this and finding out what our acceleration is. So we have 900 squared. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. And that is, make sure I got the right number of zeros here, uh, 810,000 plus, and I can go ahead and take 2 times 0 0.062 plus 0 0.124 times the acceleration. And now it's math. But I want you to check something out. When I bring this over, that's negative 810,000. That cannot be ignored. That's there for a reason. Now, if I go ahead and solve this, I find that my acceleration is negative. this giant number, a huge acceleration, six, negative 6 million 532,000 blah 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 blah. Now, first, why is that such a large number? Well, it went from going really fast to stopped at a really short distance. That's a huge acceleration and obviously it did so in a very short time as well. What about this negative? We defined our initial speed as 900 meters per second, and I drew my picture where it was traveling that way. And since I said that, my positive direction is this way, and my negative direction is this way. That negative acceleration tells me that the speed and the acceleration were in opposite directions, so this was slowing down. That actually kind of makes sense. So, so far so good. It's passing the common sense smell test. Things look okay. Now, I have my acceleration. I have my mass. We can combine these two and find the force on the bullet. And notice uh, for this particular case, I can actually ignore the sign. All that will do is tell me the direction and the force. And once this is concluded, I will know the force on that bullet. 532258 is 130645.16 newtons. If we don't worry too much about sig figs, we have now found the force on that bullet.